Here are the platonic solids uh, made with buckyballs. So what we have here is the tetrahedron. It has um, uh, it's made of four triangles and it's got four vertices and so four buckyballs. Here is the octahedron. It's made up of eight triangles and it has only six buckyballs. And then the cube, most familiar. So it's got six squares and it's made of eight buckyballs. This guy here is um, a um, icosahedron and it's made up of 12 buckyballs. And if you think, if you can see triangles here, well, there should be 20 of them. So lots of those. Um, now, the next one, unfortunately, isn't really a dodecahedron, um, but it is made up of uh, 20 buckyballs. And you can see there's a pentagon here, and then there's a sort of a pentagon that's facing us here, but it's kind of squished. And so there's five pentagons surrounding that. And then on the other side, we have the same sort of setup, um, except it's alternating. Now, the reason why I can't seem to do this is I think the magnets restrict the geometry slightly of what I can make. And so um, it's possible I'd make a more regular dodecahedron, but in some ways this thing satisfies um, the criteria. The problem is is that it's, it's uh, yeah, the magnets put uh, a certain sort of geometry um, restriction on these things. Anyway, there you go. Uh, the five platonic solids in buckyballs, where I'm using the buckyballs as vertices. Enjoy. Cheers.